Welcome, Welcome to, to the 5-Minute Success, Success Blueprint, an inspirational, inspirational destination, destination where it is our mission to motivate, educate, and provide success tools for life, home, and business. It is our desire that these wisdom nuggets will take you from where you are now to where you ought to be. Here is your host, best-selling author, African Oscar-winning screenwriter, filmmaker, behavioral health and transformation interventionist, your vision midwife, the princess of suburbia, a sentimental nurse practitioner, Dr. Princess Fumi Hancock. Hello, hello, everyone. Thank you so much for joining the 5-Minute Success Blueprint. Uh, this is uh, actually a great day for me to be doing this because I have not done this in a while uh, because of some personal things that I had to pay attention to and particularly because I was in the process of launching my book my next book called your release your vision torch uh, please if you are interested in that may you please check that out on Amazon or Barnes and Nobles now let me get right to what I want to share today my topic for today is nothing should stand in your way let me say that again. Nothing should stand in your way. Have you ever wondered if you are getting the most out of your life right now? Um, I think we all have, but we what we have to remember is that today we build a tomorrow. Uh, some people wish that changes could take place. Some people wish so hard, but they fail to put the work in. Today, we should be working to make our tomorrow uh, great. The first step in changing our lives is making the decision to do so. But these decisions are sometimes hard to make. Knowing that the decision to change our life may be the most important decision we will ever make can make it even harder to make a choice. As all of your inner demons come out to skew the way you feel and the way you make uh, choices it's important to then keep a level head a clear mind and a strong understanding of what you need I decided to put together four techniques I have used to help myself make decisions there is no perfect decision-making process let me say that again there is no perfect decision-making process but these techniques will help you make a clear and concise decision now let's move to the first one um, let's see now number one try to get a second opinion try to get a second opinion going with a gut instinct often means that your decision are highly swayed by emotion which may not lead you to what you want to really do to better see the bigger picture try to get a second opinion on what you should do from someone who you trust and who does not have vested interest in the outcome another second thing that you want to do is gather and study all the available information that is available to you many of us go with what feels right when making decisions however the outcome of important decisions should not depend solely on how you are feeling at that exact moment in time as feelings can change quite dramatically from one day to the next before consulting your gut feeling try to take into account all the important facts and assess the implications of each outcome consider what the risks are with the outcome who it will affect and whether it is feasible another one is be sure to set yourself a deadline while weighing up all of your options it is important to set a deadline let me say that again while weighing up all of your options as an important part of decision making process spending too much time seeking out possible solutions and trying to pinpoint the right one can actually make the process more difficult and stressful than it needs to be while a certain period of a time should be allotted for considering your options it can help to set a deadline for making your decision and then stick to it decide 
what would be a realistic amount of time for making your decision and write down the date somewhere for your reference. The fourth one, sit down and make a pro and con list. I know many of you have probably heard that over and over again. But this, of course, is an age-old technique for making decisions. But writing down a list of the pros and cons of each of your options is also one of the most effective ways to make a sensible and a well-thought-out decision. You write out all your options, then dedicate a separate sheet of paper to each. Draw a line down the center of each uh, sheet and write a list of all the pros, that is your benefits of the option down on one side of the division and all the cons or disadvantages down on the other. Rather than counting up the numbers of pros and cons for each option, it is important to weigh each point according to how significant it is. You can grade each point on a scale of one to five. I hope that I've really brought you some things to really think about. Until next time, be blessed, be inspired, be highly motivated, be of sentimental value, and be the hero in your success rescue. Bye for now. Thank you for joining us on the 5-Minute Success Blueprint, where we encourage you to live life full and leave it empty. With your host, your host Dr. Dr. Princess Fumi Hancock, a nurse practitioner turned filmmaker, behavioral health and transformation interventionist, and a life coach mentor to many across the globe. Desiring to make a change in one's life is just half the battle. Taking deliberate strides to change one's situation will ultimately yield great results. We hope that you have gained some valuable lessons on today's show. Please join us next time when we bring you another exciting episode of the 5-Minute Success Blueprint. Until next time, live life with intent.